Yeah, yeah, I know what you're thinking. You can get a job in the Middle East simply by trying or by magic through others or by a fluke. Remember that competition is everywhere. Some here, some there, but bam, Loy Macedo is the best. Ah. Say so yesterday after speaking to a client, at the end he said, Loy, can I have a video request? I said, yeah, sure. I have a client. Client always gets uh, preference. <laughs> Pay me money, you get preference. So he said, Loy, uh, you make a lot of videos. He's saying, you make more videos than I can actually see. He's saying, every day is like three or four. He's saying, given how difficult it is to make a video, what drives you to make a video? On top of that, you have your reading, your exercise, your personal life, your games, your, you know, being with your family. How do you manage? So I said, okay, fine, I'll make a video. So the question is, you know, from where do I get this drive? Drive is simple. I don't work. I don't earn. I don't earn. I don't have food to eat. Wife, I can't take care of my wife. I can't take care of my kid. Now, that's as simple as that. But now, the question, I think, is not just a drive. The deeper part of it is, what drives me not to work, but what drives me out of my comfort zone? This is the question that people should ask, not just what is your drive, what drives you. Drive, a laborer goes and works in the sun. That is also drive. You know, my wife uh, got up in the morning, dropped the child to school. That is drive. But that shouldn't be the question. Like, what is your drive? The drive, we have to survive. But rather the question should be, what is a drive that pushes you out of your comfort zone? And what do I mean by that? Now, I can be happy with three videos a day. Oh, uh, sorry, one video a day. Or oh, forget one video a day. I can be happy with one video every three days. Okay. People generally say, Lord, don't put so many videos. Why do I put over? like three videos a day, not one video every three days? Why? Why do I read a book when, you know, there's nothing new that is reinvented? I'm just reading the same old stuff that I know, but I still do read. Why is it now I've started to focus on my typing speed? Am I going to be a typist? Okay, why is it that, uh, ah, why is it that I... Do they exercise? Uh, well, like, do I need to do it? You know, to be honest with you, I can sit at home, right? I don't need to do exercise. Who's going to see my physique? So why is it I'm constantly pushing myself out of my comfort zone? In fact, uh, sometimes when I go to my mentor, why do I still have those sessions? Why? The reason is very simple. The analogy, I'll give you an example, a pond versus a river. A river keeps flowing. So it keeps getting fresh, but a pond is just surrounded by water and is stale. And then if there is heat and there's no rain, that pond dries up. In the same way for me, I cannot underestimate competition. I cannot underestimate people who are coming after me. You must have seen boxing, you must have seen in uh, karate, MMA or Olympics the new generation that comes, eventually the old guard has to give way to the new. And if you do not keep yourself relevant or up to the mark, people will forget you. See, like for example, I'll give you an example. Yes. Uh, Floyd Mayweather. You think he was only boxing? No. He made sure he boxed intelligently without getting much damage. He's known as a defensive boxer. And then he went into all this uh, you know, MMA, uh, sorry, boxing productions and teaching other people, opening up businesses, partnerships. Now he's doing exhibition boxing and Instagram uh, shout outs. And why is he doing all these extra things? Because he knows if he gets into his comfort zone and, you know, just enjoys and doesn't focus on himself, he'll not be able to have his lifestyle. He'll be irrelevant. Even actors, actresses, 
they open up businesses, they open up investments, they, so many things. See, for me, you know, I, uh, I can't take life for granted. Whether it is even my public speaking skills, these skills that I'm talking to you guys, uh, I can't uh, just sit on, uh, it's okay. No, sometimes I, you know, after I make my video, I actually listen to it. And I try to see, oh, okay, need to get rid of this. In fact, uh, have you noticed my, I told you, right? I'm going to upgrade my studio. I purchased a Shure microphone. I purchased a Yamaha, I think Yamaha, right? Mixer. I purchased a new sturdy uh, Elgato stand. I purchased uh, new cables, I uh, changed the setup. Now, why do I have to do all this? To be honest with you, if I continue with this, uh, you know, GoPro, or if I continue with my iPhone, nobody will notice. In fact, most of you watch my stuff. Mm, you tend to see it on the smartphone, where you can make out anything. And my videos are not cinematic in nature, it's just a talking. And in fact, some of them, they say, no, I put on your uh, videos when I'm driving, so I can listen to your voice. So, do I need to upgrade myself? But then why is it that I upgrade myself? Because you don't upgrade yourself, you don't learn new skills, you don't sharpen your existing skills, you don't uh, keep a check on your drawbacks, you are going to get irrelevant very fast. For me, it, it comes down to the fact that, yes, I've been a rebel. Yes, I don't want to be a salaried slave. Yes, I don't want to take crap from others. But uh, if I have to live like this, like a king, or be free, then there's a price to pay for that, right? You have to work hard. You have to work hard. Others, you cannot survive, man. And by hard work, it's not just like, I give, you know, an example I give, like a laborer going to the construction area, working and come back. No. Hard work is just like a hard work, like a donkey. You're going to be a donkey. You need to figure out productive ways to put the same amount of effort, but earn more. That's what I do. Personal branding, which I train people, I tell them. If you're earning the same per hour, uh, working... Uh, I mean, what's the point? And if you get a higher salary, but now you're working more hours, it's actually you're getting the same, right? So what should be the solution? You should get paid more per hour than before. Then it's uh, a financial success. And if you work more, if you get paid more hour and you love your job, then that's personal branding. Then that's success. Remember this much, you cannot take, don't take life for granted, don't take your blessings for granted, don't take your job, the country you stay, your health that you have, the mind, the talents, never take them for granted. And just giving gratitude to God, oh, thank you, thank you, no, that, that's not enough. You have to keep sharpening yourself. Oh, I, it's a good thing that I interact with the people who have fire, young people and People who really want to succeed in life. And I talk to them and uh, it gives you insight into, you know, the competition that is coming. That's the only way to survive, man. Others, you cannot. <laughs> so in answer to my client, if you're watching, no idea if he'll be watching. The drive not only comes from wanting to survive, but the drive also comes to make sure that I'm relevant tomorrow. That is why I need to push myself out of my comfort zone. That is why I need to work hard. That is why I need to keep, uh, whether it's going to my mentor, whether it's, even if I don't need something, go to my mentor, sit and talk to him for one hour, pick his brains, learn a new skill, read something new, try a new form of exercise. Invest in new technologies. Figure out what are my drawbacks? How can I improve? How can I push myself? Only then you can succeed. Only then you can survive. And only then you can thrive. Survive uh, and thrive. Yeah. 
others you cannot anyway this is what i wanted to share with you guys let me know your thoughts in the comments below good bad ugly love to hear from you you guys take care